So, I, I, I actually, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about myself personally. Yeah, I think everybody already knows my philosophical beliefs, and I talk about that. I was born and raised in Florence, South Carolina. Um, I uh, graduated from South Florence High School. I went to Francis Marion for a couple years, and I actually majored in political science because I wanted to be a lawyer until I found out that you had to hand your soul over whenever you walk in the door. So I uh, decided to go into the computer uh, industry and transferred to Clemson and uh, got a degree in computer information systems and um, moved to Colorado, lived there for about seven years, worked for uh, Sun Microsystems and um, decided that my kids probably would be better off knowing their grandparents. So we decided to move back um, and my in-laws, my wife was born and raised in Florence too, but my um, in-laws um, had moved, since moved to the uh, Chapin area so um, when we moved back, we moved there because my dad, my dad passed away a few years ago, and, all, and my mother um, is uh, in Florence, but she's uh, a little bit uninvolved. So um, moved back to be closer to my in-laws. Um, I, uh, when I was really young, I lived um, in a little community called Petey, um, and in our it's just in, interesting. Uh, you know, in case you ever get a trivia question, I guess. Um, in the uh, yard where I grew up in was a, uh, we lived right on the river, the Great Beauty River. And uh, in the yard was a uh, large hole uh, right next to the river. There was uh, probably about a uh, eight, ten foot wide berm se uh, separating the river from this large hole. And we called it the Della Hole, but it was actually where the um, Confederate gunboat was built. And the land that we lived on was where the Confederate camp was for the people who were building the Confederate gunboat. And they, when they finished it, they dug the berm out and floated the boat out into the river and sunk it. Well, they had sunk it. But they pretty, much, they pretty much just got it out into the river and it, before it got sunk. Um, and behind the Florence Museum are the uh, uh, propellers that they have recovered, but they haven't been able to ever find the guns. So my dad had a, always had all these theories about where they were and things like that. But um, so we, you know, we lived out in the middle of nowhere. I spent a lot of time out. Uh, finding a lot of things that were kind of buried, you know, belt, uh, stuff I really wish I still had, like Confederate belt buckles and frames and handguns and things like that. So. Um, but that's kind of my general high-level background. I lived in Mullins for a little while. Um, uh, I went to my, my, my ninth grade year of high school, I was a, a Mullins auctioneer until I moved back to Florence, um, which is an interesting, you know, uh, area of Marion County, so I'm familiar with a lot of that part of the state. Uh, my grandfather, um, my, my dad's father was an accountant and owned his own uh, accounting firm in Florence. And my mother's father was CEO of TransSouth. Um, it started out as Stevenson Finance, um, and uh, later on when he retired, he sold out his uh, uh, major holding interest in TransSouth. Um, so that's basically where I come from. I, I'm quite a bit different than the guy I'm running against because I don't come from, even though my grandfather was CEO of Trans South and all that, he, he kind of made some really bad decisions and uh, my step-grandmother kind of uh, went off with what, whatever he had, wealth he had acquired. Um, and uh, so basically uh, I don't come from any real money or privilege. Um, I'm just an average everyday kind of person who um, is pretty sick and tired of uh, the only principle that politicians seem to hold is to get reelected. Um, you, everybody in this room should know I have no problem telling people what I think um, and I won't change that. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't need extra friends. I don't care about being popular. I care about doing what's right and if you want to hear me tell you what you want to hear, you're out of luck unless what you want to hear is the right thing, or what I believe is the right thing. Um, and I have no problem doing that and, I, and being in office, getting in office ain't going to change that. As a matter of fact, it, it probably will make it a little bit worse. Um, because I think it is even more imperative uh, when you're, if you were in office, to stand for principle. Um, that, that, in my opinion, is what causes everyone to go the wrong way, is they get in office, and like uh, David and I are talking about, you get in these meetings, and you've, you're in this echo chamber of 
people who spend all their time with their hands out um, wanting something from government. Um, I don't have a problem telling somebody to shut up. Um, you know, whether it's lobbyists or the uh, South Carolina Association of Counties or whoever it may be, um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe, um, I don't believe in this whole idea that um, certain people should be treated just with a basic concept of respect. And respect is earned. And if you are if you are a disrespectable person, you don't get respect from it. And that doesn't mean I'm going to go more with it. But but I, this whole idea that oh well that is that is the honorable such and such. No 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 no. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like the rest of them. Nobody, there's not really anybody's any better than anybody else. And and that whole idea of certain people live on a pedestal. No, I, I got no time for it. I got no use for it. And it's counterproductive. It's what causes things to, to the wrong thing to get done and things that need to get done to not get done. Uh, everybody seems to be too afraid of what may happen or what ha you know what people are going to think. I, I can't control what people think. So the best thing I can do is what I think is right. Um, and, and you're going to think what you want to think anyway. So I, that's just the way I, I go into my political philosophy again if you want, but I think everybody can kind of understand. Questions? I, just, uh, I, I appreciate knowing your background because I think that's fair. I too am from Florence. So there must be something over in the PD that we bring to the Midlands that um, they need. No, um, I honestly I think what it is is um, the PD is such a crap hole that you're going to have to get out of the I mean, you know, I got out as soon as I could. Well, I too. But, but we have much more than I just wanted to oh, okay. Must be the water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it here, folks.